When you think of American cities that are incredibly progressive for civil rights, one of the first cities you think of is Portland, Oregon. But if you look deeper into the history of Oregon, you'll see a darker history in this past. In 1859, Oregon became the 33rd state into the Union, but it came with a caveat. That caveat came with the creation of Oregon's Bill of Rights and its previous included exclusion law that stated no free Negro or mulatto not residing in this state at the time of the adoption of this constitution shall come, reside, or be within this state or hold any real estate or make any contracts or maintain any suit therein. Making Oregon, during the state's creation, the only state to effectively ban African Americans from owning land and living in the state. Oregon was effectively whites only. This law would have stayed in effect until 1922. And even though the exclusion law was repealed, the damage was done. Oregon also did not ratify the 15th Amendment, the amendment that allows African Americans to vote until 1959. 100 years prior, it was actually written into the Constitution. Due to the all-white population, Oregon fast became a beacon for white supremacy. In 1988, three skinheads beat and murdered Ethiopian Mulugeta Sarah while Sarah attended college in Oregon. In 2010, 1.3% of the population is African Americans currently living in the state of Oregon. 83% is whites. Although Oregon is still in the process of attempting to move with the progression of modern day acceptance, it remains still very distant to the progression of the rest of the United States.